we're getting a new sim. It's called Rensport, and I thought I'd take a little bit of a look at it because I don't really know what's going on there, and I sort of should. Let's get right into it and ask the first obvious question. What is Rensport? It's a racing sim, and it's using Unreal Engine 5, which means its alpha build was looking pretty nice when it was shown off earlier last year. They're looking to set up the game in a sort of free-to-play model, sort of similar to Race Room, in that there'll be a few cars and tracks that you can automatically go on and try out and see what it's like. Um, they're also looking at it in, in a sort of iRacing sort of fashion, where you have a subscription, and I presume that'll get you some extra cars, tracks, although I'm not sure that they've actually finalised any of those sort of details yet. In the game there's meant to be a system for digitally signing the assets that's in there. So if you have a race winning car, that car is your car and it has a history behind it. Now you are apparently going to be able to sell that in some sort of marketplace somewhere. Yeah, it does sort of sound NFT, but the CEO, Maurice Hebecker, certainly proclaimed at the Rensport Summit 2022 it's not a f***ing NFT game. Certainly mustn't be then. Actual firm details about what's going to be in the game are, well, few and far between. But there has been some lovely renders released of some cars. And they include the Porsche 911 GT3, the BMW M4 GT3, and the Audi R8 GT3. And then there's also one other, the uh, Porsche Mission R which uh, looks pretty tasty. As for the game, there should be a single player career mode along with online challenges and a multiplayer ranked racing with matchmaking service. Yes. In fact, they're going quite heavily into the modern scene. Yeah, they will be officially supporting mods and with the whole not NFT marketplace thing, they'll allow the mod creators to actually sell their mods on a marketplace, which could be good, I suppose. It's got potential anyway. Well, I'll do my best to sum up. Rensport at the minute, it's still quite early days for them. There's a lot of stuff that they don't quite know what they're actually going to officially deliver and still quite a lot that they really really want to do on the on the wish list as it were what we get from that wish list as the final product i still don't know yet i don't think rent sports still know what they want what they're going to get off that list still i wouldn't put it past them to actually pull this off they seem to have a really, really enthusiastic team who are quite knowledgeable about the motorsport space. And they seem to be willing to do things a bit differently. You know, the uh, totally not NFT marketplace stuff has potential. The modern stuff has potential. The eSports stuff that they have doing has potential. And the way things seem to be driving also has potential. I think, possibly, the best way to sum this up is, has potential.